How do you filter through to find the right clients, partners, to actually will let you to reframe the problem? Um, and when you do, how do you walk them through the process and how, how do you um, still stay accountable for the results? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so it, we're, designers are only as good as their client, right? If you say, if you say who's the best uh, designers in the world, look at who their clients are. That's probably, they got, probably got the best clients, uh, assuming equal talent, right? So, um, yeah, so the, the, um, the main thing for us is we're only gonna be able to work our magic if we're allowed to, to find needs, right? If you come to us and say, we want you to design a toaster and it should have four slices and, you know, I mean, like, that's not a project to, to work. I mean, that's a fine project, I mean, but it's not, um, it's not what to work on. If you really want to innovate, you have to be allowed to understand what people value. So it's really like how far upstream is the project, right? But that doesn't even guarantee, that doesn't even guarantee it's a good project because it's so, so personal. What you really want to do is make sure you have the right person, you know, like the, the right champion in the company. So when my, you know, it's probably not a secret that a lot of my students end up at IDEO and they, um, and they come to me and they're, they, when they get their first project, they're, they're always like, I remember this woman, Betsy, and she came and said, my first project, it's industrial wipes. You know, I thought I was going to like cure cancer and my first IDEO project is industrial wipes. I said, just wait, just wait. I knew who the client was. Just wait, right? And in this project, she met a person who still mentors her today, a fabulous CEO. She got to fly all over the world and look at how people you know, work in, in industry and came up with a satisfying, you know, new to the world conclusion. So the answer to the question is it's not so easy to find out what's a good project because um, Smart, nice people tend to be, can make a, a, a industrial wipes a fantastic project if, it, if they want to. So, but um, the main, all things being equal, th the right thing is to make sure that you are working on projects where you, um, you have the chance to understand, to reframe what the project is, not just the, the solution. Now, that's easy for me to say, right? You know, okay, we'll go and do that. Like, but that's not the kind of clients that come to me. Either. That's, that's hard to do. Anyways, and so we have this um, work that we do uh, with lots of um, designers that we call double delivering. If you get hired by, a, I would never work for somebody who's not a, a reasonable person. That's, that's not going to go anywhere. But assuming that, but they just don't get what, a design, what the design thinking is or what it can do, we do what we call, uh, we talk them into doing what we call double deliver. So they have an expectation. You have a client who has an expectation of what you're gonna deliver, knock the, knock the cover off the ball, do that, right? But you can also double deliver. You know, young, exciting designers have plenty of energy, do it the way you would like to do it. I mean, do it in the human-centered way. Do it in the, 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 the um, in a way that comes up with lots of ideas rather than just the one that they've already prescribed, right? And deliver, and deliver that. So here, uh, here Miss Client, here's the, here's the thing you asked for. But you know, I was just like well, thinking about it and working on it, spent 400 hours over here. And <laughs> look at this, right? You know, you, know, maybe, um, you know, maybe you don't need you know, a new interior for your train. Maybe what you need is an entire experience that involves, you know, chocolate on the pillow when you arrive at your seat. I mean, I don't know, whatever it is. But so um, anyway, so, uh, so there, there, the power of being able to come up with new to the world ideas is so intoxicating for people that if you, um, if you need to, if you can't find the client that's open-minded yet, but it's really, as we get into these big organizations, some of the so ideas work with companies that start out you know, wanting a cultural change for, you know, and it takes us 10 years to do that. But the way that happens is we start a little brush fire over here of design, you know, of thinking on this way, and pretty soon that gets noticed. And people are competitive. Somebody says, well, geez, the, the, that group at my company did this, and look what they got, and they're getting all the praise because they come up with this new the world thing. We should do it that way. And then, you know, it takes a lot of years, unfortunately, but in a big company. And so you get all these little things going, and pretty soon 
you have a culture that embraces design in the way we mean, you know, design thinking and, and so forth. I notice you have kind of two models at IDEO for assembling teams uh, around projects. So your traditional model has been smaller teams that can kind of fit in a room and work together in a physical space. And now you have, you know, um, design by community, we'll call it. These right. Platforms. Open IDEO. Yeah. Open IDEO, OI Engine, yeah. even some of the courses that you're uh, are yes. sort of platforms for. Crash, we have a crash course at the right. Dupa. And uh, the acumen even is yeah. kind of a platform for teaching. Does that you know, you know, idea better than I do. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> There's HCD Connect. <laughs> um, so these platforms. I'm, I'm just wondering, like, what is the? What do you see the future um, holding for teams? I mean, is it? You know, what? And then, what's the role of like a trained professional in the mix? Is it? Is it going to be completely designed by community, or is it going to be a mixture? You know, what's the role? No, I, I think yes. That's a good question. I mean, the the, the big move is, the big move was we used to think of design as an individual sport. We could name the player. You know, even though they had a lot of people in their office doing the work. Actually, right? We would think that the designer was the person in charge, and we we have successfully moved it to a team sport, which is great. Now, are we are we like are we ignoring, you know, Leonardo da Vinci kind of, you know, people? Like, you know, and I think the answer to that is no. I think you got a basketball team, you want Michael Jordan or not? You know, they take your, you know, right. So, so, um, so um, these teams, um, these teams continue to use the magical part of the design. So I get that, I get that all the time. So, okay, some misguided people, I'm misguided, that's strong, um, that are, they're on my case about, you're saying that you're saying you're saying doctors and lawyers are designers. I'm a designer. I went to Parsons, you know, and they 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 didn't they don't know anything about design, right? And the answer is um, that the design person at OI Engine or or Open Idea, whether there's still a design person who is the the process leader that's saying we should do this now, right? And who's still contributing. I mean, the best thing that happens. In, in, um, in teams is that everybody owns the idea. But the truth is, we're trying to make rock star designers who lead those groups, who are actually you know, um, you know, the ones who are driving the overall creative nature of it, including some of the individual ideas. But so the place for, for um, it's just a little bit like when I graduated from school, I thought that you know design or engineering was going to be the most important thing, and then I get out there and these business people were driving the bus. I mean, who, who anointed them head? But they were. So I had to figure out. So you had to figure out how you're going to make your contribution, given that the bus is being driven by somebody else, right? The good news is we're driving the bus more than we ever have before. But you got you got to you got to step up. And the the, the, my, the role that I always say to the designer who's worried about that in the group is step right up there and lead the process. That's our role, right? 